Hello and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play series. Welcome back to the colony of New Hope. Um, is someone going to craft this cooler now? Just wondering. <laughs> Alright, crafter is making food. I think that Eclipse is still, um, is still over us, which is why it's so dark. So, oh, Bandit Cab Opportunity. Oh, what's this? Erika Prime, Counselor of Hylia, has sent us a message. Apparently, bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. Ugh, turrets. If we succeed, their relation will improve and they'll send us this reward. Jump to location. Okay, so that would mean that we would need to make a caravan to this place. Um... Oh dear, that's that's an issue. Um, okay, it's actually not that far away from home, um, so I don't think that it's some. I don't think it's something that we have to take on right now. Just like the spaceship that is landed, whenever we are ready to leave this planet, um, it's just an outpost, just like any like town or something that we can um, that we can destroy it. And looted, I guess, also. And the reward would be 2,440 silver. And, well, we would earn more, um... We would earn faction with these... Or, not faction, earn what? What was it again? <laughs> um, Helia, let's just take a look here. One second. History, not that. Factions. Um, Helia. We would, um... Gain... I don't actually know what it's called, but we would be better friends with them, basically. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's something we can do whenever we want. I don't see that there's like a counter or anything. So I think that's just something that we can choose to do whenever. So that might be something that we want to do pretty soon as well. Just to get, to, but actually not. We want to get more better stuff as well. Um, like more turrets and stuff because or better weapons rather because they have turrets which we don't so we um, we need to yeah we need to get better stuff in order to do that basically okay I know if this can be crafted um, no what are you doing wondering no component is right there you know what scrap these coolers scrap them there we go just build the wall too complicated I might just rip these out as well and just let it be hot and if another heat wave appears well we'll figure something out I'm sure all right so we are doing pretty good in our colony. Now something I did not know is that you could actually put solar panels on here in front and they will um, they will not block the um, block the, the wind, wind turbine. Um, only problem is we are missing those components which is really annoying. Um, because we use those components for our electronics and stuff and I'm not sure if it's something that well we will be able to me meet if it's something we will be able to make um, I guess maybe it'll, it'll come down here at machining or something I don't know what do we have in temperature joy mask power production? Hand tailor, butcher tables, sculptures, electric stove. We already got that. Uh, stone cutter table. No. Okay. Well, I thought maybe there would be like a like an area for making components or stuff like that, but doesn't seem like it oh well oh oh no what's this 
Um, Riesling Chief of the White Eel Camisa has sent us a message. Oh no. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with the fashion, but be aware, a poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and even anger them. The offer will expire in 15 days. Okay, so here that might actually be something that we want to do, because the white eel camisa, uh, hold up, <laughs> the white eel camisa is hostile towards us, and if we improve that to friendship, or at least neutral, that would um, that would mean that we won't receive like rates and stuff from them only these two so that is actually something that we want to do 14 days um where you can plan your hold up where you can plan your journey and calculate distance between okay um and that is actually something that has a timer on it i need to know which one of us has the best um social uh, that is Kisaki, who has the best social. Um, not the greatest though, but if we take a look at the background, um, colony settler, okay, human computer, um, let's see. Kisaki would be the ideal to send. I think we will send a caravan over there, but I will not send Kisaki alone. Now, I just need to remember how on earth do you send people here? So, um, click to enter the planning mode where you can plan your journey and calculate distance between waypoints. Okay. Planning mode uses default caravan speed. Your speed may vary. Right mouse button, add, remove. Escape. Okay, so from here, wait, right mouse button. Okay, so to here, from here, right? 1.2 days. Okay. Um, but how do I make a caravan then? Okay, form. Oh wait. Okay, so I select my colony, people of hope. Um, form a group of colonists. Able to travel to new areas, the colonists will gather all the assigned supplies and accompanying animals, leave their current area and wait for the orders. Okay. So if I form a caravan um, and I choose... Okay, so I need to get her a bodyguard. So if I go here... We still need to be able to defend our colony while they are moving over there. So, and then hopefully the game aren't making traps. <laughs> um, I don't know if those are in the game. Um, so, crafter, shooting. Okay, so I either herder or crafter. And I think crafter is kind of needed here at the colony. But, I'm pretty sure... Um, social, uh, Huerta. Okay, so that's a very high opinion. Pretty sure, yeah. Um, okay, so if I form a caravan with Kisaki and Huerta, um, and yes, items, please don't freeze, there we go, okay, um, the number of days until this item starts to rot based on the average temperature in this area, um, I guess we need to bring food. So, if they eat two times a day, and they... Uh, uh, um, I don't know if they will automatically... Like... Um, 
if they will take food with them on their own. Uh, so, one day's worth of food. Okay, so we need quite a lot here. I'll take, we'll take all the package survival meals because it will take one point something days and then you have to be there and then come back. You might even need more. Okay. Let's just be sure. Accept. Um, time to destination. Um, right mouse button. Okay. Accept. Your colonists will now take the sign islands and leave the area as soon as possible. Okay, so... Auto saving, thank you. <laughs> um, so, forming caravan, gathering supplies. Okay, so they are now gathering their supplies. The rest of them will go on with their duties here at the um, at the colony. And we will send Kisagi and Horita to this... Um, to this that we are going to be doing, this um, conversation. Moving. Okay, so they are now moving. Both of them have shooter weapons, so that should be okay. And they are now leaving the area. Once they have left our area, or get to here, they will then um, await our orders, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a cancel forming caravan. Okay. Well, they're off. Caravan has been formed. And hopefully, this is not a trap laid by the Yul Kamisa or whatever they are called. <laughs> oh dear. Because I would not like to. Oh. Because I would not like to lose these guys. They are really good. Okay. Item stats opportunity. Um. Erika, Prime Counselor of Helia, has informed us of a collection of valuable items not far from us. The collection consists of AI Persona Core. I have no idea what that is. Unfortunately, it won't last. Others will take the items in 23 days if we don't. Beware, valuables tend to attract danger. Erika says that there are sleeping mechanoids in the area. Well, that doesn't sound nice. Erika is will willing, willing to tell us the location of the stash in exchange for 482 silver. Um, AI Persona Core, a hyper-advanced computer core that houses a superhuman-like artificial intelligence. In its isolated state, the core is dormant. Installed in a proper support structure, however, it can become a mind of frightening power. Uh... Except need 482 near the trade beacons. I need... Okay, so I'm going to say postpone. And I will immediately order a... Where is it? A... Um, we should have those. <laughs> um, trade beacons. What, we don't have those? Hold on. Uh, hold up. Production. Zone area. Orders. No. Structure. Furniture. I don't see it. Okay, so normally, when I played Ringworld, you would have a... Like a little kind of satellite dish thing that you could place and then that would enable you to make trades with um, with others and in this case we would need it in order to accept this um, let's just take a look here one second um, hold on problem is I don't see it on here either so I have no idea. Component assembly. Hmm. I can't see it, unfortunately. Um, which means we will not be able to accept this um, this item stash opportunity because we would need that dish over there 
in order to transfer the silver, which we can't because it is not unlocked for our colony or something. Uh, we would need to research it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and await orders on the world map. Okay, so here is our colony. Um, visit peace talks. Yes. Okay. So that will take them 1.1 days. I don't see where they are moving to though. We can see their health. We can see their needs, their gear, and their social, and also their items. Uh, I hope they will go over there sooner than later. <laughs> we will have to keep an eye on them. Pretty sure they should have exited up here or something, but I'm not sure. So yeah, um, we will not be able to accept this item stash thingy because we don't have the like the um, the satellite dish thing in order to transfer the silver. So that's too bad, but it did say dangerous mechanoids or whatever it was, um, which is not something that I would like to deal with at this current state. Um, we mainly have handguns, which is not the greatest. So let's beat up forward time. And um, yeah. So how are we doing for food? We're doing okay. Plenty of potatoes. No need to um, no need to be hunting. Um, so yeah, that's good, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, near trade beacon. We do not have a trade beacon, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's take a look at the crops growth rate. Okay, that was not it. Um, yeah, they're pretty close to actually being able to be um, harvested. This should be pretty soon to be harvested as well. The potatoes here too, and the rice plants, everything is looking good. We are kind of low on medicine, but not too low. So, yeah, wandering. Um, don't you have work? <laughs> uh, let's see. Plant cut. Uh, clean. He cannot haul, apparently, which is fine. Um, patient, bed rest, flick. Um, warden handle, cook, construct. He cannot do research. Um, tailor. We'll put him... Oh, he's not good at that. Okay, smith. Not good at that either. Plant cut. We'll put that at two as well. Add two as well, just because he can. Why not? All right. Let's take a look at... Oh, they are already... They are, they are moving fast. They should be there in a day then. You know what? I actually think... Um, well, I don't know how long this episode is, but I think it is about those 20 minutes time. So I think I will cut the episode here, actually. So, yeah, I'll end the episode here, I'm pretty sure. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. We are also almost done with this smithing research, and that will enable us to do machining, great bows and long blades, which machining will be my next, um, will be my next thing I would really love to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and well, we'll see what happens when our um, caravan here moves on and actually gets here. We will probably see that either in the next episode or in the episode after that. We'll see. Anyways, have a nice day. Bye-bye.